Hello, I am Anene, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Cape Town. Today, I am going to show you how to troubleshoot website inaccessibility issues when your DNS service provider is Amazon Route 53. Let's get started. There are many reasons why your website might not be accessible over the internet when using Amazon Route 53 DNS service. Here are a few of the more common reasons. Your public hosted zone record doesn't have the right resource record sets. The name server records at your domain registrar aren't the same for authoritative name server records in the domain's root 3 public hosted zone. Your domain has domain name system security extensions DNS configured, but your public hosted zone DNS record is turned off or doesn't have the right configuration. Your DNS resolution works for one DNS resolver, but doesn't work when using another DNS resolver. The extensible provisioning protocol EPP status code for your domain is any of the following server hold, client hold, or inactive. Let's talk about each of these in more detail. Your public hosted zone records does not have the right resource record sets. To verify that the public hosted zone for your website's domain name in row 3 is populated with the appropriate resource record sets, follow these steps. After logging into AWS Management Console, navigate to the Route 53 console. Then select Hosted Zones page in the navigation pane. Here, you will see the list of hosted zones in your account. Choose the hosted zone for the domain to see the records created. Check to see if the website domain name has a record and is pointing to the appropriate resource record sets. In my case, my website domain has a public IP address 1.1.1.1, as you can see here. If your website domain is pointing to the wrong record, you must update the record. Keep in mind that the changes you make to these records take time to propagate to the root 3 DNS servers. Changes generally propagate to all root 53 name servers within 60 seconds. To update the value of the record set, select the row for the record that you want to edit and click Edit Records. Then, enter your changes in the Edit Record pane. Finally, select Save for the record to be updated. As you can see, my record has been updated to the new IP address, which is 5.5.5.5. .5 Keep in mind that at minimum, the public hosted zone must contain an address record for your domain. If a record doesn't exist for the domain name that you are querying, then NS domain error code is returned. NS domain simply means that the domain record you are looking for does not exist. The name server records at your domain registrar are not the same for authoritative name server records in the domain's root 53 public hosted zone. To get the name servers for a public hosted zone, follow these steps. After logging into AWS Management Console, navigate to the root 53 console. Then select hosted zones page in the navigation pane. Here, you will see the list of hosted zones in your account. Choose the hosted zone for the domain to see the records created. Note the four name servers. In my case, I will copy them to a notepad. Search for your website domain name using your preferred Whois utility. For this demonstration, I will use the Whois utility installed on my system. I added grep to the command just to filter for the name servers. In my case, the name servers for my domain configured at the registrar end is the same as the ones configured at the public hosted zone site. If the name server records don't match and your domain registrar is root 53, follow these steps. After logging into the AWS Management Console, navigate to the root 3 console. 
Then select register domain in the navigation pane. Here, you will see the list of registered domains in your account. Choose the domain for your website where you want to update the name server records. Select edit name servers and update the name servers with the name servers for your root 53 public hosted zone. Because my name servers record at my registrar domain level is the same as the one configured at my hostess zone level, I am not going to make any changes here. I will point out here that if you change name servers to the wrong values or delete one or more name servers without specifying new ones, your website or application might become unavailable on the internet for up to two days. Note that the other resolvers typically catch the name server's record for up to two days. As a result, your changes can take two days to take effect. Your domain has DNSSEC configured, but your public hosted zone DNSSEC is turned off or doesn't have the right configuration. The domain name system security extension DNSSEC is a protocol for securing data exchange in the domain name system in IP networks. The protocol provides data authentication and integrity, but not availability or confidentiality. If DNSSEC is turned on for your domain, but is turned off at your root 53 public hosted zone, then DNS resolvers that perform DNSSEC validation return a server fail error to any client trying to access your domain. To demonstrate this, I will use my domain that has DNSSEC enabled at the domain level but is not enabled at the hostess zone level. When I use a dig command and specify DNS resolver IP 8.8.8.8 that performs DNSSEC validation, I will get server fail response as seen here. As you can see from the dig output, status is server fail. To bypass the DNSSEC validation, I will include Checking disabled flag. As you can see, I cannot resolve the domain as the status is no error and the answer session has my domain's IP address. Because we can resolve the domain after bypassing the DNSSEC validation, we now know that the issue with your domain not being accessible over the internet is the result of DNSSEC misconfiguration, either at the domain level or at the hosted zone level. Your DNS resolution works for one DNS resolver and does not work when using another DNS resolver. Test the DNS resolution of your domain using public resolvers such as Google Resolver with IP address 8.8.8.8 or Cloudflare Resolver with IP address 1.1.1.1 or OpenDNS to resolve your domain. If the problem persists when using a specific resolver, then the cause might be an issue with that particular resolver. Or the resolver might have cached other DNS responses. The extensible provisioning protocol EPP status code for your domain is any of the following Serverhood, Clientshood, or Inactive. EPP status code indicates the status of a domain name re registration. Every domain has at least one status code but they can also have more than one. If your domain status code is OK, then it is active and has no pending operations or prohibitions. On the other hand, if your domain status is in serverhood, clientshood, or inactive, then that domain isn't activated in the DNS and can't resolve. To understand the current status of your domain, use your preferred who is utility. For this demonstration, I will use this who is utility installed on my system. As you can see from the output, my domain status is not serverhood, clientshood, or inactive. This means that my domain DNS service is activated. If Route 53 is the registrar for your domain, then you can check the status of your domain by following these steps. On the registered domains page of the root 3 console, select the domain name and check under domain status code menu. If the value of the status column is serverhood, clientshood, or inactive, 
Then the domain has been suspended. And now you know how to troubleshoot website inaccessibility issues when your DNS service provider is Amazon Route 53. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.